the 150 cent exit toward Kennedy Airport. World tour. We did it. Yeah. We did it. Holla. All right, let's start over. What up, world? Electric Punani, world tour, fresh off. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> In 2013, Mellow X and I, Jasmine Solano, the founders, creators, and members of Electric Punani, decided to venture out on a world tour in which we would make a 360 degree round trip around this globe. And we did it. High five. It was always a dream of ours to go on a world tour because we're definitely a global entity just when you combine who we are. The music we play is global, so it's like, let's take it to the places where we get the music from. Little did I know that every single party was going to be off the chain. Mm -hmm. And people everywhere just down the dance hall to actually witness the love for the genre and what we have done with it. It's pretty cool. Stop one was Paris. 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 Paris, Paris is dope. Paris we had some cool. cool people come through. Rufio. French Lopez was our guest French DJ. Lopez, guest DJ. King Crew came through. We got some walking around in. We went to Colette. Yeah. We went to the Lou. And then we actually were awake for about 36 hours. We went yeah. from Paris straight to Stockholm. Stockholm had the honey. <laughs> that was like one of the first spots we went to that it surprised us about like how much reggae they knew. We land in <laughs> Stockholm and we go straight to the WSC store because WSC was one of the sponsors for our tour and we had a real cool in-store event. And then we did an after party. Again, this is part of us being awake for like 36 hours straight. Mm -hmm. We do the after party with like house music and get everybody's dancing and getting down. Next stop was London. London, London town. Mm -hmm. I don't do the accent. London was ill because that was one of the events where we got to partner up with another party that has a love for dancehall reggae music. Heat wave. That was popping. Popping. A lot of people dancing and, you know, banging on the furnace. We had people, you know, daggering. We saw our, our homies, Aja yeah. Monet and Fresh Daily. It felt like home. Then it was time <laughs> to make our way to Germany, which, yes. you know, we knew Germany was going to be popping. And the first stop in Germany was Munich. The place we DJed yeah. in Munich is a building that was built in 1264 that was turned into a club, also has a restaurant upstairs. Yeah. But that was ill, just knowing that, like, this building is, like, Had ancient. so much history. And we're about to bring our little global party there to just mm. mash up the place. That party was crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. I thought I was in Jamaica for a second. And then the next day, uh, Gabrielle picked us up and we drove to Berlin. They knew the, the music. And then the DJs who went on, they prepared their sets. Like, Perfect. Gabrielle's set was like, he played like every reggae song referencing Punani. So Berlin was one of our favorite stops, yeah, no Berlin doubt. Cool. And that was our last stop in Europe. And then it was time to fly to <clears throat> Australia. Australia is cool because it takes so long to get there that when you get there, they really appreciate it. We played in Melbourne, mm -hmm. in Sydney, and an island um, off of Brisbane yeah. for Island Vibe Festival. Our final stop on the whole tour final stop. was Tokyo, Japan. And we were so excited for Tokyo because it was our yeah. first time that we both were in Tokyo. The way they vibe to the music in Tokyo is cool because it's like they look at the DJ like a performer. Mm -hmm. so, you know, Mm -hmm. And some parties, it's just everybody's in the corner dancing, but Tokyo, they're like just watching you like do your thing, oh putting God. their hands up and like really... And we had people turn know. up in yeah. Tokyo. Yeah. After we, Tokyo, after we made month, the long... After a month of traveling, going around the planet, we came back home, back to New York. When you come home, it gives you a whole nother sense of, of being where you're from. Yeah, yeah. Because you're like, wow, like this is this is where I'm from. I belong here. You know, mm. like I I was born here. And that could be relatable to anyone that leaves their country or tours, but it definitely was a cool feeling like being yeah. like welcome back to New York. Yeah, you know, yeah. and we're like, wow, we don't have to we don't have to get a stamp. Right. You know, you gotta do all this all this other But we stuff. would, we would do it again. Right. You took us right backwards, yeah, we would definitely. do it. I mean we will do it again actually. Oh yeah. Round two. Round two. Yeah.